That's that 11. Six? Didn't I get 12 when we played? Uh, probably. That's not an 11. <laughs> it's close. I'll go first. Oh, you sure? Welcome back, everyone. We're here at YCS Raleigh. That's right. We're here for our first Are you good? Yeah. We're going to start with Austin Otto. Dost thou believe the cold buys? That's the one that's called that. <laughs> you got a problem with that. Uh, no, because now you can't ash. That's true. I need my extra deck. Bacha, bacha effect. Refrain, refrain effect. Couplet, couplet effect. Soprano, soprano effect. Scale, couple of effects. It's on the bottom. That's always helpful. <laughs> Who knows is ending up there? Seriously. Uh, soprano effect. That's Huawei. Botch effect. Yeah. Uh, uh, concerto using couplet and refrain. Rescale them both. Or Bacha. Pendulum summon. You're up. Probably sure, for three. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have Astonado. Yeah, I think you should add Ash. <laughs> I did not have Astonado. So why didn't you go for six, then? Because I don't know what other three to get rid of. All right, then. <laughs> I don't need first movement solo. So I guess you take Ash. <laughs> Think about it this way. I can't call by it. <laughs> you know my deck list, so it's not like I'm about to activate. Um, what's that card? Um, <laughs> probably fine. It goes to defense. You don't get it. The booster. Do you know why I put Guska up here? No. Because Snake Eyes players run Anima. And if you put an extra monster zone, they can't just slap an Anima down and steal it out of one of these two zones. On summon, activate, Atwala. Bounce, bounce. 
deck that we kind of talked about a little bit earlier. Now we're going to see how some of these two top level players have adapted their strategies with, you know, Baron and Warlord Savage with Mika. And like, while you didn't need to use those cards to make out four, Christian Arena definitely did. Baron and Warlord, you know, I've seen most of his uh, sure. deck profiles before. He comments on those cards and says, these are the reason why you win games. Change your tag. Game? <laughs> it's a good combo. <laughs> Three. Ah, oh, dang it. Would I have the Ostinato? I had that in my hand. I didn't have any hand. Not like Ostinato matters because you have Baguska. That's true. Actually, it does. Why? Because you would still get the Bacha effect? You're right. I'd get the Bacha effect and then I can grab the controller. You don't even need the grab the controller, really. Well, yeah, I can get rid of the Bacuse though. I guess. I guess. So what do you think about the, the Baguska combo? It's alright. <laughs> It was nice to have Austin on the call, by the <laughs> going first. <laughs> seems good, seems balanced. You, you know what's, <laughs> it's actually funnier if you just have two Austin Autos. Austin Auto? Yeah, cool. Anyway, Austin Auto. <laughs> that is true. I'm going first. Sorry, I didn't say that. No, I'll let you have it this time. <laughs> yeah, dude. second monster you would set? Hmm? What was the second monster you set for Austin Otto? Okay, why is there not a refrain in grave? Yeah, this is one of those interesting the summons from deck. This is kind of like the Oh. Couldn't take away immediately from the That's what was confusing me. Are you just going to do the same combo I did to you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Now, how do I do it? I already forget. <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> These are both in hand, correct? Pay attention. I'm yeah. not going to do anything. These are both in hand. <laughs> These are both in hand. Droll would have gone hard right here. Yeah. <laughs> Just to stop that one concerto search. <laughs> well, what would you have drolled though? I didn't add anything to hand yet. Oh, that's right. What? We don't play Baylor. <laughs> you put everything in defense. Well, it goes to defense anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can slap it in attack mode. It'll just change the defense as soon as you get the goose go. Um, Baka effect? Right? Yeah. 
Does it really matter what you specialize in? The adding the hands once per turn, though, right? Yeah. Concerto using these two. Okay. By the way, this combo absolutely decimates Tenpai. <laughs> but how did you get the other card out? Did you have it in hand? Should this have been in my hand? No. I still say yes, because if you can keep flavors out of in the deck and off the field, that's a success. Wait, why would it be in here? Wanna hit? Yeah. It shouldn't be there. <laughs> Should be in your extra deck right now. I used it for a fusion summon. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's how you do it. Then you special from these two. Pendulum. There Pendulum you go. summon. <laughs> Pendulum one. If you want, you can. If you have the ability to, like, if you have another soprano in hand, you could make a Schuberta or something, and then you'd have extra interaction. But it's not a whole lot of point. If your opponent well, can't play and whatever they do try to do, you can bounce. So if you make a Schuberta, how? If you can, like, if you had a soprano and an extender in hand, you could make another one. Why? I would want to do that anyway. I, I could go, I could make a Shuberta and still play Bajusko. Yeah. That's why I said. It, it's one of those, you're committing everything, and technically if they have like evenly or like Dark Ruler, you're still kind of bound. Although under Dark Ruler, yeah, Dark Ruler still would work. I say if they dark ruled, maybe you could get that, but then I was like, uh, it negates the passive, so that would still shut it off. My turn. Draw. Ostinato. Let's. Okay. Rude. No. Effect. Sorry, deep think. <laughs> Bacha. Good. Sure. Effect, is it? No, it's not. That's really a fact. 
something new, just in case I end up running into a Maguska. <clears throat> so, no, it has to be couplet and it has to be Shafina. Yeah. Okay. Boom Primo. Almost summer. It's such a graveyard. It's okay, I just add go ahead a, on the Okay. Um, two will give me my couplet back, and a harmonist I'll discard. You can almost kill it. Sonata wouldn't have worked. Why not? I didn't have any Just so you know. That's fine. Goose goes hard, man. Um... You missed timing. <laughs> you never brought back your two monsters. You don't get them back. They come back. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> well, yeah. It's very important. <laughs> Because then your opponent will be like, accept that game state, accept that game state. <laughs> Guess he is. I have my own. <laughs>
the put them attack mode. But after Lisa as well as Armada cross up, I'm screwed. Yeah, like there's there's just more non-deadly ones that are better. Seventy five I assume essentially players like these every combo they have is going to be kept in the back of their mind and they're going to be for sure playing through it or at least making sure that card's never resolved. I know what I would do, but I don't know what you would do. You have like the perfect way to win right now. I do? Yeah. I, don't I was like, if he has like one extender, dude, he's set. <laughs> Man, special sums out. Two extenders, like they're nothing. <laughs> Just like, boom. <laughs> Game. We like swap seats. <laughs> <laughs> What's his problem though? I don't know this deck yet. You don't even need to know the deck. You know it. I don't. You do. We have game right now. <laughs> I am. What is your, What are you afraid of right now? Playing a turn. Everything. That's not game. You know what Schuberta does, right? Yeah, removes from play. Yeah. So what are you afraid of? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I, think, I don't, can't, like, trample over anything. Call that be game. I was so, I was so over the adage. I was so over the adage. <laughs> That's pretty good. It says attack position. You are immune by card effect destruction for the goose go alone. You pay cost, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't understand. You know, how you have game? No. Do you want me to explain it? Because everything's a defense. Look at this. Let me explain it to you. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. And everything's negated. Honestly, I would probably get rid of this just because you can do damage to that. But you'll get Bacha's effect. This will be. Can I respond to that? I could technically chain the Schuberta. So if you wanted to, if you were worried about losing your graveyard, then I would definitely hit the Schuberta. It would be gone. You're linking it out. <laughs> no, I'm saying like she can negate. It, or does that the... Well, you would be chain one. Oh, that's a special summon. Yeah, it would be chain one, and then I would chain Schuberta yeah. two. But still, how does that game? Because this would still get its summon, and you could summon back... I mean, if you really wanted to go super ultra pro, I would use this, target one of these, probably this one, send couplet, so it gains attack equal to... Was it a thousand attack because it's level five times 200? And then you could link these five off, these five, and then Bacha would special summon back Soprano. Soprano would add back Couplet. Couplet could special summon out Cannon or Sonata. So just try it. Here. Quattro Underworld got. Well, do refrain first. So refrain. Target. That's wall. 
send from deck to grave. Couplet. Let's see if it is game. I bet you it's game. Printing couplet. Underworld goddess. Underworld goddess using. Shuberta. Because you don't need the extender turn. So all this is negated. So. Bacha. Bacha. Concerto. Yeah, and you get a draw concerto for the fun of it. <laughs> Bacha. Bacha is special soprano. Soprano. Add back. Well, I get your draw. Soprano. Add back. Couplet. Couplet. Couplet effect. Couplet special. Yeah, you can get your Sonata to worry about damage. From the hand or graveyard. Sure, dude. Want another Sonata? <laughs> so I drew a Sonata. Okay, well, get, get another one. A thousand right there. There's no way I could win from this position. <laughs> I completely forgot that she negates all of your face-up monsters. It's not like it mattered. All I had was card effect protection right now anyways. Destruction protection. I don't have Aria out. Although this does out the Aria elegy board. So add... Probably just an awesome model. If you're pushing for game. I mean, I have one card at hand. It's a soprano. <laughs> uh, you haven't summoned Bacha yet. Like, you have a soprano. Wait, also I can add. You could. You still haven't added Concerto either. But you still haven't summoned Bacha yet. Could I summon Bacha? Soprano and Refrain. <laughs> and who else? Oh, no, that's right, there are only two. So, this goes here. Yeah. No, 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 no. Keep your linked arrows open when you're playing pendulums. You can pendulum two right now. Uh, it's a effect. Botch effect. Special from deck. I don't think you've gotten Chapini yet, have you? Mm. You haven't pendulum yet either, so you could go Chapina. He goes in defense, right? There's an attack. Yeah, you can just special from the deck. If you special it when he dies, it specials it. That's right. So the fact, add back soprano, add back soprano, pen two, am I penning two? How are you or why are you? Mm. Now you could soprano again, and you could make another etoile if you want, or you could go for the OTK. Mm, yeah, sure, that's fine. You do you. What's the OTK? Grab the uh, yellow, unless you banished it off Prosperity. There you go. I grew back. I didn't use go for it. Yet. You know what he does, right? Aside from the add back, it's two attacks. For each. When summoned, it's at 25, because you use two materials. It gains 600, so it's at 25 with two attacks. It, gain, it, it gains 300 for each fusion material used for its fusion summon. Not fusion monster, fusion material. That's the way they worded it back in the day. It's at 25 when summoned always. The friend goes your extra bit. Still got the Sonata? Guess what? It's 3k in attack twice. <laughs> so. So use your lowest monsters to attack. 
and then use Etoile to bounce whatever's left. So you're gonna only need to attack two monsters. So this would go into that, that would go into this. Use Etoile to bounce those two to get rid of those two, and then these can still all attack directly. <laughs> I see. But you take Seven, two. I take 15, take or 15? I take uh, 700. Because you're special. No, negated. Oh, <laughs> Technically, I'd seven. have eight because I have an elegy, but. Oh, yeah. So I take seven. seven. Doesn't matter. You can attack any of them. And then the Twalway bounces these two. And then you can do. Can you attack twice? Yes, 25 twice, which is 5,000. And then you have 8,000, 10,000, 500, 12,000, 13,000, 300 damage. <laughs> I still have it normal. <laughs> All right. Game three, and then uh, then uh, Sorry, call it a night. Yeah. I don't know if I have game. <laughs> Thirteen thousand damage later. <laughs> Over four monsters. <laughs> still don't know if you have game. <laughs> I still don't think I have game. <laughs> oh, Lord. Bot just chilling in the main deck. See, that that seems pretty broken. What? The fact that you can just <laughs> if you had botch in your hand, you're like, um, I'm gonna have pendulum summon. Pendulum summon botch. Wait a minute. Why'd you have it in your hand? That's why Underworld Goddess is fantastic. Because not only does it out problems that can't be targeted or be destroyed by battle or card effects, but it also outs. Like your own Baguska line. If you're worried about something being active as soon as it's live, just link it off. Especially if you have extenders. You only really needed one extender to be able to really pop off. This instincts! Just kidding. Dost thou believe in the ostinato? Like, what do you think this guy's been doing Do it again. Do it again. Again! <laughs> hey, if you tell me a way to get to out this board, you you tell me. Honestly, if they drop nib on you, that's kind of an issue. Because you can nib this. But, you, I mean, you'll still have the bacha and you'll still have the... I also have an issue putting couplet in that zone because that's four and that's five and I just feel like left to right should be four to five. Uh, it doesn't effect. matter where you put them. It really doesn't. As long as you don't cover up that zone. Because you need a pendulum. Uh, soprano. You know, even if they nibbed you right now, you're still fine. Yeah. Because you just use that to bounce, and I still have still have your normal stuff. Yeah, still, still have your pendulum lemon. I ha haven't used couple effects. Exactly. That's why it's like such a great thing to do. Because even if they do nib you, and even at like the worst possible point, if they tried to nib you, you can still go off. I also like that you just can't impermanent veil or that twelve. You just use her effects and it's banishing, or you're banishing for cost. Yeah. Um, Concerto using these two to make the great and powerful Bacha. Pen. <coughs> the one card combo. Let's see what we can get. Ash? That'd be crazy, not ashing the ostinato, ashing the pot of tea.
There we go. Bottom of the deck, any orders? Mm -hmm. the I don't think there's any orders. I don't understand why they're like, Bottom of the deck, you get to pick the order. Nobody cares. Well, the deck card is not in for Special? Yeah. Oh. It's, an, it's an extra bounce for a Twilight. Where's my Harpy's Feather? Does Literally it? any extender is an extra bounce for a Twilight, so if you want. Put it. Did you side? <laughs> Oof, evenly. Would have gone hard here. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. If somebody did evenly with me with this board, I would just get rid of the couplet and the refrain, and I would bounce those three. I would lose the imperm. I would keep the Baguska. Because they're going in the main phase two with a Baguska on field. Three cards. Three. Go for it. An extender, an ogre, and a first movement. We can't really ghost ogre the Atwale. Gotta try. Does he have a second? Yeah. How do you pass? So. <laughs> you could have ghost over. That is that is very true. <clears throat> I have not seen. No, that's not true. Last game I had a ghost ogre, I think. I didn't get to use it. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Five cards in the deck. Interesting. Yeah, I like this version better than the Apple version, just because Apple can be impermed and be beaten over, and if they imperm Baguska, you still have a defense position monster. And you still have these two. Change the defense. I, I still like playing the two Promethean Princess, especially now the unicorn's back out there sniping cards out of the extra deck. I like that you will still be going for that Promethean Princess in this spot, but there is, you know, there's some merit to going after the Anima. I don't think you will, but, you know, the allure is there. Looks like he's considering chaining Ivy Masquerade into his own Hispiric Is Baguska not like Skill Drain? No, it's not. Because like if Skill Drain's on the field and that comes out, when it's effect being negated. If you summon, so this negates activated effects. Skill Drain effect, or negates effects. So, Baguska is not as good as Skill Drain, because passives are still active. 
What are you using? Uh, couplet and something else, presumably. Couplet and Sonato. Still resolve. Uh, Antoile effect. Special. You bounce what? Bacha and what? And the Soprano. It's a very interesting set of non Grave 2, right? Deck or extra deck. Okay, so it's gotta be from my extra deck. That's fine. I'll special summon. Bacha. <laughs> Shit! Just had to clarify. <laughs> Are you scared? Oh, okay. for <coughs> oh man. I forgot my control too. The greatest top deck ever. <laughs> um. Make sure you do Baguska first, because if you change your attack position and Baguska automatically changes it back, and then you change Baguska, you can't change the, the monsters again. Uh, you didn't use Baguska's effect to adjust... Oh, cost? Um, yeah, uh, this is a bad game state. I win. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, we'll go refrain. 